This is the 85 inch Sony X95L. On my last video, we got it out of the box. I showed you guys how to set it up and we went over some basic features. This video is part two, where we're gonna talk about nothing but picture tests so you can see how good it really performs. Let's get into it. Well, first of all, this TV has a processor. They call it the Cognitive Processor XR. And this processor gives the TV more dynamic range, natural colors, and it replicates how you actually see in real life, which is a pretty cool feature. So I'll put a little demo together for you guys to show you the differences between 720p, 1080p, 4K UHD, and true 4K. And it actually did a really good job cleaning up the signal, enhancing it, and making it look beautiful on all the different settings. And I couldn't even tell the difference in the footage until I zoomed into it, and then I could see some pixel differences. But in my opinion, it was hardly noticeable. But I want to take it a step farther and show you all the resolutions at the exact same time. And you probably need to watch this on the television if you want to see all the details. But here's the thing. If you have a good signal going into the TV, it's going to process it at the best quality possible. But a lot of people are trying to take grainy footage and put it into TVs. It's just not going to be able to clean it up to the point that you're going to get a usable signal. So if you put a questionable signal into the television, it will do its best to clean it up. But most TVs in general prefer a clean signal to give you the best picture quality possible. While we're on the subject of upscaling, I switched over to YouTube TV, which generally broadcasts from 720p to 1080p, and the TV has to clean up that signal because it's large and it is 4K. Overall, I thought it did a really good job reproducing colors, but I will tell you it was slightly blurry on some of the content, and it's due to the nature of the size of the television and the resolution that I'm playing. Before we continue, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Uh, this is a software called Cowman. They're allowing me to have the full version for a little bit of time. The full version is about $3,500, but you can buy it for the Sony, and it's about $394, and that's including the color checker that you need. And that's gonna allow you to calibrate your TV yourself anytime you want. The great thing about that software is that with this sensor right here, I can actually get different color profiles, and this sensor right here will support up to 2,000 nits. So hopefully after I learn it a little bit more, I'll be able to get those ratings for you guys. And for Sony it has an application in the Google App Store, you just download it, and then it asks for IP address, and then you put the IP address into the computer, you hook this sensor up, and this TV will actually calibrate itself and create different profiles. And this is what the screen looks like. You would plug your computer into like HDMI 1, you would uh, do the picture test, and there's an IP address over there as well. So you put it all together, and if you think about it, if you have a professional calibrator to come to your home, it's gonna cost just as much as this kit's gonna cost one time, and you'll be able to calibrate anytime you want. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys some of the different picture modes in this television. And just to confirm, I went in here and turned off all the automatic settings that would automatically dim the television. So the first thing you're seeing is vivid mode. In vivid mode, you can tell that the light is blown out, but you get a lot of shadow details over in the corner, which I think it could be okay for a lot of people, especially if it's a really dark movie. Now we switched over to standard mode, which you won't like on movies. It just makes everything too dark, but it works really good on regular TV, like streaming apps and things like that. Now here's a cinema mode that everyone gives a hype on. I think it looks good, but this TV can look better in other modes. So let's toggle through a few more. There we have gaming mode, graphic mode, photo mode, and this is IMAX enhanced. Now keep in mind, IMAX works as best whenever the movie is actually in IMAX. That way you get all the metadata to control the picture. And then you have custom, and this is where you can go in and create your own profile that you like. Custom for Pro 1, this was calibrated on the Rec. 709, and Pro 2 was calibrated with HDR. So you can see the difference there as I toggle back to these different colors. And I like the HDR one better because you can see that you get more richer colors especially in that light, it just picks up more range. And this last scene is I turned all the automatic settings back on. You can see all the details that you're missing here in this light and that brick. So that calibration setting actually works the best. So what do you guys think about the picture differences? I know I didn't play footage, but could you see how the calibration definitely could help your television out? In my opinion, I think calibration is individualized by the TV that you purchase because if I give you guys the settings, it may or may not work properly because your TV might have a different configuration. So the best way to calibrate your television is to have a professional come out or you go ahead and buy that kit and do it yourself if you wanna get the most accurate results. But 
I'm planning on giving you guys some settings in the future as I get to know this software and you can give me feedback on it when I do. Now let's take a look at some other tests I want to show you guys. First of all, this is a skin tone test. As you can see, there's different types of ethnicities and this TV is reproducing every color accurately as we go through all the different pictures. Now I must tell you that it does an excellent job of taking every frame by frame, analyzing it, and making sure that the TV does proper adjustments to give you the best picture quality. So everything you watch on this TV is gonna look more natural and more lifelike. I would love to give this TV a 10 out of 10 when it comes to uniformity, but if you look at the very top of the screen, you're gonna notice that it has this black shadow area that goes all the way across. And again, I don't think you'll notice that watching everyday content, but these are things you notice whenever you run test demos through it. Now this is a 24 frame per second demo and I want to show you guys the motion test. And to me, it's still a little bit of jumpy. And one thing I noticed looking in through the picture settings is that it doesn't have a sports mode to make the action a lot more smoother when things are moving fast. So I really think this TV was built for cinema and movies, but you can watch everyday content on it and it won't be a problem, but you might see a little bit of stutter from time to time. But the great thing is, I doubt if you see that soap opera effect that people complain about. When it comes to blooming, you're gonna notice it from time to time on this television. But what blooming is, is basically you get this glow around the images. And what this test does is just show the glow from the different images that are produced. And this would include logos, words, subtitles, and things like that. So this TV doesn't do a bad job on it, but it's not as dark as a OLED, for example. Now, if you plan on mounting this TV up high, it's all ready to go because I did check the viewing angles and I went from side to side and this TV looks fantastic. Even when I got below the TV and zoomed into it, you can see that the resolution is picking up at lower angles. So ideal is that you can mount this on top of a fireplace or anywhere that you have a large room and you need to get very detailed viewing angles. Just in case you're worried about glare, I did check out the anti-glare coating on the television. And the interesting thing is that it makes this streak that goes all the way across the TV whenever it gets reflection on it. But if you have a bright room, it does have that coating, plus it is extremely bright. So I feel that it's gonna work out in those type of environments. Even though this TV is not perfect, there is one thing that stands in mind is that this TV has a beautiful picture on it. Especially if you just play straight HDR that's recorded in a high resolution like this right here. But if you're a movie fanatic, this TV is gonna take it to the next level with the Bravia core that I showed you guys on the last video. Even the Netflix calibration is built right in. Plus I want to show you guys some content from Disney Plus in the regular cinema mode. And with content running through this TV, the processor goes to work, cleans everything up, and makes sure that you have the best experience possible and I can say for fact, because this TV is going into my main room, replacing my older 75 inch. And here's the last few things about this TV. It is mini LED using direct backlights and it does have local dimming. Now the thing about this TV, it does have the BravaCore calibration, Netflix calibration, and it supports Dolby Vision, IMAX enhanced, but it doesn't support the filmmakers mode. So I hope you guys enjoyed all these demos that I did for you guys today. I've been working hard behind the scenes to create new demos so we can get the most out of these TVs. And I know there's gonna be someone in the comment section saying you didn't test this or you don't test that, but I'm really trying to make these videos for the average consumer and not get so geeked out where I actually lose people's attention. Hope you understand. But when it comes to picture quality, besides a few things that stands out to me, there's a little bit of blooming, which I actually have on the TV that's in my other room. It also has decent motion, but it could be improved. But keep in mind, how often do you watch certain things where that's actually a factor? For me, I watch more movies and Disney Plus, Discovery Channel and things like that. So I'll be fine with everything that this TV has to offer. But in the comments section below, let me know what you think about these demos and what I can do to improve this channel for you. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.